I'm telling you. What to do y'all what's up good afternoon everyone it's your boy j michael welcome or welcome back to my channel so it's currently one o'clock i just got on my break and i'm heading to subway now i know i said i wasn't gonna eat out but when i say i wasn't gonna eat out i meant like no fast food no greasy stuff you know subway is more on the healthier side so we're gonna have it today and i forgot my lunch at home i don't i got all my stuff ready the night before because that's usually what i do and I still didn't get my lunch ready yeah i didn't have any lunch for today and i'm actually pretty hungry now that i'm like moving and actually working during work i'm actually hungry during lunch break so i'm heading to subway get me a cute little subby subby sub i don't know if i want a 6 or 12 inch because i don't want to be too full but also i'm not going straight home after work i'm gonna go get my nails done maybe actually I have to call them i almost have to make two phone calls okay I gotta call the nail salon because I'd like to make an appointment to get my manicure today. Hopefully, I can get it. But I almost had to call Ticketmaster because I'm Eric Camp, not Eric Campbell. <laughs> Erica Badu is coming to Norfolk on Wednesday, and Duran Bernard is opening for her. I've always wanted to see him live, so I was like, Duran. When are you coming to Norfolk? When you come to Virginia, period, because I make a drive, okay? He was like, I'll be in Norfolk on the 12th. So I went and bought the tickets. I got two tickets for me, and then I wanted Alden to come with me. Some of my spirit, some of my stomach, some of my gut is telling me he's probably not going to be able to go because he's just taking way too long. He's waiting for approval from his job, and I'm like, boy, F that job, I'm coming to this concert. Like, <laughs> but if he don't go, I got somebody else who's going to go, so it'll be a win-win regardless, but, you know, I would like to go with my boy. Regardless, I'ma still go and um, and hopefully I can speak to Duran in person because this will be our first time, if so, meeting a person. So, yeah, that's gonna be fun. Oh, hi. The Italian herb cheese. <laughs> I got the all pro sweet. Thank you. You too. Got the goods, y'all. Time to go back to work. Wow. Alright y'all, we are out of the nail salon. It feels so good to have freshly done nails, nails that look decent. Now I won't feel like everybody's staring at my freaking nails. Sorry for the lighting y'all. Oh, y'all know how this, this lighting I heard be, this back lighting be. This is the plan for the rest of the day. I was hoping that my mother was gonna cook. I could have sworn I'd text her and ask her if she could cook. Let me check. I mean, I could be wrong. Maybe I didn't send it, but I thought I asked. I did not ask, so that's on me. I'm gonna go home, eat leftovers. My grandmother made stew chicken a few days ago, so I'm gonna eat that because I do not feel like cooking. Finish laundry. I think I have like, actually no, I don't have any more. I do have one more load of laundry to do. I just had to put my sheets in a dryer. It's the next day. I'm home. Work was all right. I was ready to go home. I was ready to go home from the moment I pulled into the parking lot, but work was all right. I didn't vlog at all today. And I'm gonna tell you why. This morning when I woke up, you know, sometimes I wake up and I just simply don't feel like talking. That's really early in the morning to be trying to talk and, you know, interact with the folks, you know. I already gotta do it at work. So I, you know, I just don't wanna be bothered when I be getting ready. So I didn't vlog this morning. I was gonna take y'all with me, but I was like, nah, I'm just keep y'all at home because there really wasn't really much that I was doing. I went to work, went to Burger King for lunch, went straight to the car wash after work, and then I came home. So 
Yeah, this is, what is this? This is my scrub top. finished the first episode of beef finally i have not been able to finish it because i've been falling asleep because i've been trying to watch it after work i just finished the first episode and i know for a fact i'm gonna like this i know for a fact because out of the two main characters who the crazy is i don't know we about to see because we gotta watch the next episode to really find out because the girl about to try to get the boy back again after the boy did what he did to her so yeah i'm you i'm talking like that and trying to say it without saying it because i don't know who saw it and who didn't but we gonna keep watching. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Happy Wednesday to you all. It is a measly 8, 10 in the morning and I'm on my way to work. Today I feel like might be one of those days where I'm just ripping and running everywhere. On my break, I'm probably not gonna get no food only cause I need to go to Ulta cause I need a brow pencil like real bad. I'm not gonna be able to get one after work because I gotta rush home and get ready for the concert tonight. I really should have did this yesterday, but I wasn't thinking this morning. I was gonna put on makeup. I was like, no, I'm not even put on makeup because it'll make sense for me to put on a little bit. I do put on and then come home, wipe it off, just put some more back on. So your boy is on his break. Ulta is too far for me. I need a new eyebrow pencil. No eyebrow pencil means no going out tonight. That don't really mean no going out tonight, but y'all know how I do. I like to put on a little mug when I go out and how I'm do that without no, no eyebrow pencil. Now granted, I could be like, mama, I need one of your eyebrow pencils and she might give me one, but no, I want my own. So I'm gonna go ahead and get me one. I was just in Ulta not too long ago. Literally, maybe like a week ago. I should have just went and got some while I was there, but I didn't. It is what it is, though. I really hope they let me vlog in there, because y'all remember what happened last time? That lady was, she clocked me talking about something you can't record in here. Like, girl, since when? So, if anybody do try that with me today, I'm be like, well, since when? Because as many times as I go to Ulta, as many times as I record in Ulta, as many times as people have seen me with cameras at Ulta, I've never been told that I cannot record in here. I'm fine. Seven five seven. All right, y'all. So I'm out, right? But I hate when people be like, "You went to Bridge, right?" I'd be like, "Yeah," and then I'd be feeling some type of way. Oh my god! I see. I gotta change this battery out because I'm not gonna keep sitting here and unlock my car door manually, y'all. I'm. <laughs> 
That sounded like such a bratty comment, but my car battery, whatever, that doesn't even matter. Now what I was talking about. Every time I run into somebody from Bridge or they claim we went to school together, I do not remember them. And I have not been out of high school that long. <laughs> and the girl looked kind of familiar and I figured she knew who I was because she saw me in line, then did the double tape. I know my memory ain't that bad to the point where I just don't remember nobody. It, is, it can't be that bad. What to do y'all so I'm out the shower I'm getting ready for tonight just waiting for my face to dry put on some witch hazel I noticed that witch hazel dries my bumps out faster but the Tula toner helps like the texture and like the brightness of my skin lately I've been going back and forth between the two I'm doing pretty good on time last time I checked it was like 509 I got home pretty quick I beat the clock because they said that I wasn't gonna get home until what 4 57 i got home seven minutes early that's something that i like to do <laughs> i like to see if i can be what the gps says i'll get to my destination at so if they're like oh yeah you'll probably get there around 5 30 i'd be like okay let's see if i can make it by like 5 20 5 25 i don't know i'm weird <laughs> but i'm gonna continue to get ready i ain't even gonna begin to talk a whole lot, go on a whole ramble, cause y'all know I can talk and I'ma end up being late for this concert. So I'ma check back in with y'all when I'm all dressed. All right y'all, so I gotta go, but first I'm gonna give y'all a cute little OOTD. I literally just threw something on, all black. Y'all know all black is my go-to when I don't know what to wear. And I'm rushing, I'm definitely late. I don't know where my phone is. Might be in the bathroom. Yep. I'm definitely late. It is 5.56, I was supposed to leave almost 10 minutes ago. So we're gonna make this cute, quick and fast okay shirt 6'6 six, six, poppy pants probably nope on the inside orange nope these are from boohoo prada shoes czar bag and of course the scent for tonight is gonna be citizen jack i didn't put any on yet so let's go ahead and do that now i feel like i'm gonna have to safety pin this side as well yes i have safety pins in my pants because I didn't want to wear a belt today and yeah that whole thing y'all know how that goes y'all know my this waist is itty bitty and I love it but I also hate it for times like this perfect now it's gonna stay up cute 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 I'll probably take pictures tonight yeah this is like a cute basic black fit so I'm gonna head out now because I got to go and I want to catch the ram so with that being said, I will talk to you guys whenever I do. I'm not taking my camera because where am I put it? Y'all know I don't like to carry this big old camera all the time and it's showing if it fit in this bag. So, yeah. I figured it out, but I got to go. So, I'll chat with y'all when I can. Take care of them tops. Take care of them tops. Oh,
bus popping y'all let me turn this air down so y'all can hurt me just now leaving the gym i miss this feeling right here of leaving the gym and just having energy and feeling good oh my goodness i literally just released so much stress from this week because i was telling my grandmother that I don't know what they're doing i was telling my grandmother that at work this week it's just been so hectic i feel like i've just been running track all throughout the freaking dental office because it's just been so hectic trying to make sure that i stay up on time come on i want to make this light just making sure that you know i step on my p's and q's when it comes down to like making sure my equipment my time is ready like i don't think you will realize that when you are an assistant or when you work in a dental office period like everything has to be done in a certain amount of time or else everything get behind right if a patient needs to be sat down by 10 o'clock and i don't get them in the seat till 10 10 10 20 20 minutes is now cut off of their diagnostic time their actual procedure time like if they're coming in for a, a toothache and i waited 20 minutes to get an x-ray the doctor nine times out of ten is not going to be able to really do anything that day because you need a certain amount of time like if, if i'm if somebody's tooth hurts it's one of three things okay you either have an infection you need a root canal you need to get a pull or maybe you just need antibiotics and maybe it's just gonna go away on its own but most of the time you actually need time to diagnose these things and if you wait 20 minutes to get the patient in the seat and you spend another 10 to 15 minutes trying to figure out what's wrong and take the x-rays and all that stuff when the doctor comes in the room that's what 30 40 minutes wasted and he don't got nothing to do because now it's only 20 minutes left of the appointment time and what you gonna get done in 20 minutes worth of appointment time if you do a root canal the only thing you probably gonna be able to get done in 20 minutes is what drilling it into the tooth and maybe prepping it root canals take a minute extraction it depends on if it's really really challenging if the root is long or if the, it, 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 it's a lot of stuff that goes into it right today was really much needed i just feel like i got so much stress out and i'm not gonna lie y'all it's something about just getting a little little pump uh-uh that just do something to me like i don't know i love working out my legs don't get me wrong but i think i love working out the chest the arms the biceps all that stuff i think i enjoy that just a tad bit more just a tad bit more only because it don't take as much out of me lower body dude. legs takes so much energy out of me like oh my god y'all so today was a great workout day and i'm really gonna start to try to do more upper body i really do want to be consistent with it because i have got to get bigger arms and i need the titties to be tittying okay i need the titties to pop out the shirt like i want you to look at my chest and be like oh yeah he work out for real yeah so it's giving much more chest workouts bicep workouts tricep workouts yeah i mean we we want a nice back and arm but that's already coming in we need to get the arms situated okay the arms is just a tad bit bigger than what they used to be when i say a tad I mean, a tad. It ain't a whole bunch. So we need to get these arms bigger and better. Like I need to choke a nigga out. That's what I need to do. I need to be able to choke a nigga out, cause my arms are so big, beefy, and meaty. That's what I need to do. So we're gonna be working on upper body a lot, majority of the week. Three times out the week, we're definitely doing upper body, and the other two is gonna be lower body. I'm gonna start going to the gym after work, starting on Monday. I'm going to the gym every single day after work. I was watching this video of this bodybuilder out here in Virginia, actually, and he is fine too, but he got a husband, so yeah. This bodybuilder out here in Virginia, I had came across his page, and he had used this TikTok audio, I'm assuming it's TikTok audio, and it's pretty much just saying, you know, motivation is not, motivation isn't gonna be what you need to do everything you want okay what are they doing are they getting over like i don't what are they what are they doing i can't stand trucks like this because they just take up so much space and you don't ever know what exactly they're doing like come on anyways i was watching this bodybuilder he was pretty much just saying you know motivation is not what's gonna make you get up out the bed and do your best and do your due diligence okay it's discipline is that's what's really gonna make or break you your discipline if you don't got discipline baby f the motivation you're not gonna be able to do what you really want to do and i was like that makes so much sense like you you really do need discipline you really do need discipline in order to like you know really get stuff done you got to be disciplined so i was watching that and i was like you know what this tiktok audio is so right let me get my butt up right now and go to the gym so i'm really gonna try to make sure that i, I really get my discipline in check i have discipline then i don't i have discipline then i don't i need to get back on my stuff so starting monday no more eating out for real and i mean at this time like, i really do want to get back to my old ways i was much more healthier a uh, good like what I don't even know like maybe two three four months ago I was good but I don't understand why trucks do this you want to come all the way to the front like somebody's gonna want to let you over I guarantee you I'm not letting you over
Good. How are you? Good. My name is Tatiana Biertek today. Okay. And Holly's going to be shadowing. Hi. Hi. How are nice you? Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Assuming you just have glasses and you don't have any contacts, right? Uh, like right now? Yes. Yeah. Okay, just making sure. <laughs> okay. Do you have a YouTube channel? Yeah, I do. Oh, that's awesome. What kind of stuff do you film? Um, literally my everyday life. Everyday yeah. life? Yeah. Okay, awesome. <laughs> How many followers? Uh, I'm almost at 20K. That's awesome. Yes. Are we doing a contact lens exam? Um, yeah, it's probably needed, right? Yeah, yeah. if you want a new contact lens prescription. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Alright, go ahead and take off the glasses and then put your chin forehead in here. Go all the way up to the ceiling. It's just pulling down your lid so we can check your tear glands. Alright, all done. You can put your chin forehead in this next machine. Right flash. Alright, go ahead and sit back. And then this one's going to be the puff of air. You're going to oh, put God. your forehead in this little divot right here. Much better. I literally hate eye exams, y'all. Oh my god, I hate them so much. Them tests be getting to me. Oh my god, I hate them so much. Ugh. Next, they're gonna ask me which one look clearer, and they both gonna look the same. <laughs> All right, go ahead and cover your left eye for me. See if you can read those letters. A P B O. Are you okay with dilation today? Um, can I drive? You can still drive. Um, you're just gonna be blurry up close. Probably about an hour and a half or so. Let's do it another day. Another day? Okay. Yeah. Do you mind signing the refusal form? Oh, yeah, that's fine. That's not going on. I deleted it because it's kind of. Deleted it? No, I didn't. I deleted the exam, so I can't remember. Hi, how are you? Good, how about yourself? Thank you, you too. Alright. Potentially doing some new glasses here? Yes. Okay. okay, so for frames, they give you $130 towards a frame. Okay. Extra 20% off, whatever could be over that. Okay. Okay, okay. sounds good. Y'all see they gave your boy some contacts today. We're gonna see what we're gonna get today. I kind of want something that resembles these. But I low-key want to switch it up a little bit. Ooh. These right here. These look kind of cute. Are these children's though? These look mighty small. Fendi baby. These are cute. A little bit too feminine for me though when it comes to glasses. Ain't that crazy coming from me talking about some too feminine? Depends on what frame you pick. Like if you pick um, this one which is a bigger, more lens, right. you will have more thickness. So you okay. could consider going to a thinner and lighter lens okay. if you go with a frame like that. So we'll kind of cross that bit bridge once we pick the frame. Okay. Um, these frames I've priced out. So we got Pink one is one twenty seven and twenty cents after your insurance. Okay. Fendi is two sixty four, and the Gucci is three fifty one okay. and twenty cents. So let me price out these ones as well. I'm surprised Gucci is more than Fendi. Me too. I'm surprised <laughs> as well. I could try more. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That'll me... determine everything. <laughs> yeah. And your hair. All right. Grab a mirror here. <laughs> I love those. Yeah, these are nice. Mm -hmm. That's a good shape and size. Yeah. I typically like to go for more of like this shape. Mm -hmm. Kind of fits my face mm -hmm. a little better. I would agree. Yep. And I like the contrast that it has the clear behind yeah. it because it kind of keeps everything. I don't think I love those as much as I love yeah. these. I just close. like the, the design. I know, they're so cool. Yeah, a little too sophisticated. Too much frame. Yeah, <laughs> too much frame. Too much frame. Real test. Do you want to phone a friend or anything? Yeah, that's you what I'm going to do. Cause... Yep. Someone who knows you can be like, that's yeah. you. Yeah. <laughs> I can only give so much. Kiana, I need your help right now. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out some glasses, but I don't know which one's to pick, okay? Okay. So, these are the first ones. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm actually between three. So those are the first ones. These are the second ones. Ooh, they can pay for Jade. <laughs> they can pay for Jade's five. But you see, I needed to give Jay Michael, because okay. these are going to be worn like more often, because I'm going to be wearing them to work and everything like that. And then you got these. Good question for you. I like these. yours? That's no, that's very good. It's not yours? Nope. Mine's my bag. <laughs> I like those a lot. I feel like that's more of a 
like it's still professional but it gives very much like it still looks good the first ones are too you know party-ish yeah yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. i think it's a shape and then these little things i'm saying <laughs> Those give very much your old into days. If you want to revamp yourself, I feel like those would be the last. These okay. right here, give it. They mm -hmm. give it. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. okay. Yeah. I'm gonna pick these then. I'm pick these. She was like, "Do you want to find a friend?" I was like, "I think I might have to." That was the final decision. Yes. Yeah, perfect. <laughs> mm, mm, mm. What's up, y'all? <laughs> it's the next day. Y'all probably like, where are you going? Why get these clothes on? I'm going out tonight, so I'm trying on my outfit for tonight. Y'all know lately, I have just been ODing when it comes to picking on my outfit last minute. So from here on out, the day of, early or on, and the day before I go out, I'm just gonna pick on my outfit. This is what we're wearing tonight. Tamaya, y'all know who Tamaya is. She is putting on the show, and I know the girl who's performing, so I'm gonna go and show some face, show support to her. That's the only reason why I'm, I'm really going, because I really, really, have never seen her live before and she came to the she was at the Norva last weekend I want to say and I was gonna go but it was standing room only and I didn't really want to be the standing so yeah, even though I'm about to be standing for Chloe but Chloe's different baby but yeah so this is the outfit that we're wearing tonight okay two-piece set this is from Alfred Eden yeah Alfred Eden right 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 yep and this is so cute y'all like this gives me ivy park but it also gives me gucci like this could very easily be a part of the ivy park rodeo w wasn't it like a, a a rodeo themed drop that beyonce i did one time when she was partnering with adidas yeah that's this is what this gives this is exactly what this gives so because it gives that i'm wearing my ivy parks <laughs> i gotta clean them though because they are a bit dirty but i'm gonna do that with probably either this fanny pack or this Fendi bag. I'm kind of feeling the Fendi bag only because it just gives like so much more personality to the outfit. It's like, oh my God, so cute. And this is, I don't know if it's like a club set or whatever, but I don't know, a shoulder bag low key just gives me more, okay, he doing a little something, something. The only thing I had about with the Fendi pack was I actually wanted to wear it around my waist, but um, it doesn't look right because of this whole thing and it kind of takes away from that. Yeah, we're just gonna do um, the Fendi bag and call it a day. And call it a mother freaking day. Yeah, the outfits I picked out for tonight so I can finally let that rest. I'm gonna go downstairs and cut me some watermelon. Ooh. <laughs> cut me some watermelon because, I don't know, I've been craving watermelon. I haven't really been doing anything today. I didn't go to the gym. I literally been in the house and I was editing. Yeah, I'm gonna continue to edit. Like, that's literally all I have to do for the rest of the day. I'm gonna get my video done and I wanna get my mother's video done as well because I didn't realize this. I didn't put two and two together until this morning that the current vlog that I'm editing for her and the vlog that I wanted to upload next, they pretty much co-align because she vlogged her whole CNN process when she was performing for CNN and I was vlogging the performance from like me being at home. So I think it'd be nice to like drop the two videos around the same time because not only is it gonna generate traction to one of those videos but it just makes sense you get to see both aspects of you know her being on the road and then me being at home when I'm usually always on the road with her so I just thought that was cool yeah <laughs> just thought it was cool <laughs> few hours have passed by and I am about to pack my bag up it is mad early first of all I didn't know that I was gonna get ready this fast it's 8 20 so I don't have to leave until 9 o'clock it's 8 20 so I really did not expect to be dressed this fast <laughs> Usually I've been taking my sweet old time. I don't know why, like, tonight, usually I take a full two hours, hour and a half to two hours to get ready. This is crazy. But, um, yeah, this is the outfit, y'all. Mm, mm, mm. Ain't this so cute? This cute little two-piece set from Alfred Eden. I have always seen like ads from them on Instagram. They always come up. Anytime I'm swiping stories, like they always come up. Okay, let me mute this because it's gonna get on my nerves. I'm always like, no, because you gotta be a little bit skeptical with these Instagram ads and everything because you order it and you do not look like how it's supposed to look. But this really looks like how it's supposed to look. I was actually looking at this a minute ago, right? Then my friend ended up getting out of it. I was like, oh, this is really, really cute, and I'm glad that they actually sell stuff that looks like how it does on a website. So I went and got the same thing, and they also have a jacket, like a bomber jacket. So when it gets a little cooler outside, I'm gonna go get the bomber jacket. That way, I can do a little switcheroo, and I can wear this again during the wintertime. I make a whole completely different look. Like tonight, I'm wearing it, it gives very much summer, but when I get that jacket, I'm gonna flip it and reverse it, and it's gonna give a whole different vibe, y'all. I'm telling y'all. 
I'm telling you. At this point, I just need to go ahead and make a designer LLC. That's what I need to do. And just become a stylist on a side, a part-time stylist or something. Because I really be throwing fits. Like, I'm sick. Like, I'm a little toddler. It's really crazy. But I, I'm really thinking about taking styling people into consideration. I always style my mom for certain things. I wouldn't mind making that, you know, a little side hustle, you know? No side side hustle. I'm switching from my tail far to the vintage fend, you know. Denim on denim, yeah. This is gonna be a cute little fit though. I've been waiting to wear this for a minute. I've had this two piece set, oh my goodness, maybe for almost a month. I got it sometime last month, so yeah. Let me take my hookah tip because I'm not sure if they're gonna have hookah tonight, but if they do, I'm a hookah. <laughs> I absolutely love this bag like oh my goodness it's so crazy how my mom uh, she ended up giving this bag to me and like I said it's vintage so she probably got it what in the 90s and she says she never ever ever wore the bag the first time the bag has ever seen daylight outside I was carrying it like that's so crazy this bag is in amazing condition for this to be a 90s bag crazy 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 and i'm not even somebody who's like real 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 big on shoulder bags i'll make a crossbody bag into a cute shoulder bag but at like a shoulder shoulder bag they don't always work out for me because i don't know the strap isn't always long so it just doesn't work out but um it's gonna work out tonight though i tried my outfit on earlier today it looked amazing it looks amazing now so yeah tonight's gonna be a good night i'm excited i'm really hoping they have hookah there they should have hookah there but then again, I don't know, because I don't really know what kind of venue this is. I don't know if this is a club. Like, I don't, I don't, I don't really know. Why my mom, she signed up for Scentbird, right? And she gave me this fragrance because she didn't like it. She said it smelled too masculine. Y'all, oh my gosh. Like, this smells so freaking good to the point where I'm actually considering buying the full bottle. This is Deck of Scarlet, Not Your Girl. And for this to be, I guess it's supposed to be for women or maybe it's unisex, but it really does smell more like on the masculine side. It's giving, I'm gonna go and order the real, the real version, the full bottle. Um, And it's also giving Scentbird, sponsor your boy. <laughs> I'm telling you, I can make you some money. <laughs> I was gonna wear this tonight, but it wasn't matching the vibes for tonight. Tonight is giving more. What I got on tonight is a mix of Prestige, Pour Homme, and K. Ali, Juicy Eden. These are two of my favorite fragrances to mix together. They smell absolutely ethereal. Out of this motherfucking world. They smell so freaking good. I'm telling you. I ain't never stirred y'all wrong when it came to finding a good fragrance or recommending a good fragrance. So when I tell y'all that it eat, I'm telling you that it eat. One, two, and three. They eat. They eat, baby. All right, y'all. So I'm about to head out. So I'm gonna give y'all a quick OOTD before I head out. So this set, jean set from Alfred Eden, Vintage Fendi, Ivy's on the feet. For my scent, I told y'all earlier, this is gonna be my regular jewelry from now on. The little tennis chains. Um, I need to get a little, cute little tennis bracelet or whatever. So I'm gonna be on the hunt for that. But this is a fit. Mm -hmm. Mm. And I'm here for this. I really do like this. The body is snatched. For real, for real. Like, it's something about big bottoms, little tops that just do so to me. I was gonna take my camera. I probably will still take my camera. Yeah, I'm gonna take my camera. All right. Come on, y'all. Let's go. Y'all know the last time I was at this gas station. Oh my god, these spider webs on this thing. I need to hurry up. But the last time I was at this gas station, y'all, the whole like, you know how like it usually stops automatically when your car is full? Well, I was all the way down there at the very last pump and it did not stop, y'all. So I'm still pumping my gas almost $70, knowing that it don't take $70 to fill up my freaking gas tank. And when I pulled the gas thing out, all oh, this gas just poured out. I'm like, are you freaking kidding me? I'm only putting $30 in my tank though, because I gotta go. Always pay attention to your surroundings at the gas station. I don't trust folks. Let's do this, baby! Let's do it!
y'all so I'm tired <laughs> okay I'm feeling good I'm looking good and I'm going to pick up my homegirl cuz we finna have us a time tonight it's almost 1 o'clock in the morning but guarantee I was just sitting there I was like absolutely not so I hit my homegirl up Z I was like Z what you doing come outside she said she won't do nothing I said how fast do you get ready I was gonna order her an uber cuz I did not feel like going to get her but the connection there is so bad the uber that I had is connected to my old phone number I changed my phone number I'm sorry if y'all can't see me let me open this to see I changed my phone number so yeah I really should have thought that through but I didn't oh my god I feel so bad y'all y'all can't even see me I'm so black let me turn these lights on the lights don't even help ah! oh yes they do well yeah they kind of do and my tent is dark so it ain't like well it's not illegal to drop your lights on so it doesn't matter but I should have changed everything over which I kind of low-key did but I totally forgot about uber and everything because when I got this new phone I don't broke my other one. When I got the new phone, I didn't log back into everything. So that is on me. I'm going to pick Miss ZZ up. My ZZ baby. And we're going to have us a time tonight. I had to stop my little hookah to go pick this girl up, but it's okay. She better be lucky. I love her. She be, better be lucky that I'm always trying to make sure that she has a good time. Because one thing I'm going to do is make sure whoever I'm with has a good time time okay so with that being said i just want to do a little check a room one two three four with y'all i am gonna pick her up and head back over to free night okay let me chill out <laughs> mm, i got my friend out there <laughs> i don't see it either <laughs> i know i saw and i know i seen that girl name and that's messed up she is not before me not today <laughs> Thank you.